Today's video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat in Sakurako. Yeah! Hey, uh, Goku, how come you can't transform to any of your god forms in this game? What do you mean? I can do that. Watch. Oh, oh God, I think I gotta go change my pants again. See, I told you something's not working. Hmm, it's not working. It's not working. Shut up, Pan. You're not even supposed to be in this game. Ah, damn it. Now look what you did. Go on his tweaking again. I'm not even trying. Alright, what's up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back in here with another Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 DLC Pack 17 update speculation video. Let's talk about a potential Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue combo awoken skill. Okay, a two in one, kind of similar to how we have, you know, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, and Super Saiyan 3 all in one skill. I would really, really like if they could combine God and Blue together, just because I feel like Super Saiyan Blue on its own isn't really all that necessary anymore. I mean, when it first came out, obviously it was really cool and it's great, but we have Super Saiyan Blue Evolve now, which is pretty much everything that Super Saiyan Blue regular does, but better in a sense, okay? Um, I don't know if there's even really a reason to use Super Saiyan Blue other than, oh, it has a little bit less key drain. And I mean, it's obviously, you know, not as strong and everything too. So it's like, there's good and bad with all of it. So why not just combine God and Blue together? Even though God has different properties and functions differently, that's the whole reason why you would want both of them in one. So again, I don't really know too much about balance, but I will do my concept on it. Okay, I made a little concept, which we're going to in just a second, but I just wanted to get this out of the way. First and foremost, uh, this image that you're seeing right here is just an image for reference. I made this, okay, in Photoshop. It's not real, obviously, and even the description itself uh, is kind of, you know, something that was made a while ago okay i think this i made this concept back in like 2022 but i wanted to do a more updated version of it now that we have you know super saiyan god and blue together existing in the game so um before we jump into the actual concept itself be sure to drop a like subscribe here on the channel and ring my notification bell if you guys want to keep on seeing more of these speculation predictions or just concept based videos okay even though i personally do not think this will be added obviously in this next update I think in a future update, it would be a really good idea, okay? And y'all can let me know if you think that this could potentially work, if it's even something that you would want. I think a lot of people would want this, but again, in terms of that balance aspect of how it would work online and everything, I don't know if it would be quote unquote fair or whatever, but I personally think it would, okay? So let's jump into the actual concept itself. So I just made this, again, similar to how I was doing the Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan Rose Awoken skill concept. I wanted to do stuff like this. And y'all can let me know down in the comments if there are other old existing Awoken skills that you would like to have uh, almost like an update or a combination uh, all-in-one type of deal. Like, what if we had Potential Unleashed, okay, and Beast in one Awoken? Like, would that be fair? I think it would be because, you know, it, it still has all the same properties. I'm not making it you know, more OP or less OP, you know what I mean? So uh, this concept I made, okay, it's gonna have this, again, the same properties as Super Saiyan God and Blue, it's just all in one, right? Because at minimum, you're gonna have to have 500 key, right? To go Super Saiyan Blue, but at 300 key, why not let me go Super Saiyan God, right? I don't think that's that crazy. <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments. So again, Super Saiyan God key costs three bars of key, 300 key, okay? And then if you want to go Super Saiyan Blue, it would be 500 bars of key, five bars of key, just like how it is separated, right? The transformation combo swap integration, okay? Now, some of you might be wondering, like, what, what do you mean by that, okay? And I'm going to show a concept, an actual, like, gameplay concept using some mods, okay? Where it is the DBS Gogeta transformation, okay? That specific version of DBS Gogeta where he goes Super Saiyan, he has this ability and this functionality where he does combos and in between the combos, he can transform quickly, like a fast transformation and you can combo in and out of it, okay? So this is kind of similar to the God to Blue swap skill that Goku and Vegeta use within the Tournament of Power and in the Future Saga, mainly in the manga, 
But that, that you know, the way to conserve stamina while being able to still do some good damage, okay? And then swap into blue so that you get more damage output. You know what I mean? So I think that'd just be a cool feature because it already exists in Xenoverse 2, at least for one character. And I think just having that version of Super Saiyan would be really nice. Like, we need more Awoken skills that, you know, have that function. It's just so cool, right? <laughs> it sucks that only DBS Gogeta has it. And maybe they're doing that because they want to make him feel very exclusive and so that people would buy it, right? Because, you know, it's like, oh, we already have Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta. Why would I want to use base form that transformed into Super Saiyan, right? Oh, well, he has this function where he can actually do a mid-transformation and it's fast, okay? Having a fast transformation is very beneficial in this game and being able to swap between it in terms of uh you know if you want to have the animation so it's like you it's like optional okay it's like in a sense like a toggle not really but you know yeah <laughs> let's get into um what it actually does again uh this is all stuff that we already know super saiyan god basic attack increase it has no key drain okay so in a sense that stamina conservation and not really it's not really stamina but you know it doesn't have any negatives in terms of uh you know draining key right and then obviously you would still have your timed input combo you know string integration as well okay and then you can go to super saiyan blue do a quick transformation integration okay just like the dbs gogeta style and you'll get all of your attack increased okay you'll have key drain unfortunately that's just how it has to be to keep it you know balanced or whatever Again, I hate it. I despise Key Drain, but it's just part of how Super Saiyan Blue is. So we're not going to, you know, take that away. If you want to take it away, you know, make your own concepts, right? And then, of course, it does give you a little bit of a defense up. Okay, so there's got to be some differences, like major differences. Like, why would I want to swap between them? Okay, well, maybe I'm, you know, low on Key. So I want to go Super Saiyan God. Like, you know how sick this would be? Just thinking about it is making my mouth water, right? So um, before we get into the actual video game concept itself where i'm gonna do some gameplay for you guys uh i want to say a big massive shout outs to today's sponsor tokyo tree and sakurako tokyo tree is a monthly pop japanese snack subscription box where you will get up to 20 of the exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored japanese snacks including japanese instant ramen and drinks that are only available in japan for a limited time while Sakurako is a monthly Japanese artisan snack box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box coming with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. The month of May is finally here, and we are almost halfway through the year. That's pretty crazy. That rhymed, actually, too. Uh, let's try out some stuff from Tokyo Treat. We have some wasabi, I think, rice crackers, and these smell banger. A little bit oniony. Oh, yeah. I'm already feeling it in the, like, the back of my nose. This will clear up your sinuses. Flavor is amazing, though. Dude, that was crazy. Oh, man. Those wasabi snacks, like, really woke me up. So, now we got some Sakurako stuff. Um, This is, I think, the seven flavors of Arare. The one that's covered in, I think that's seaweed. These are sick. I love these. Oh, yeah. It's got a soy sauce. Very heavy soy sauce uh, smell. Mmm. The seaweed is very strong. You can taste a little bit of that soy sauce. The savory snacks are just the best. And this month, they actually have green tea. How refreshing. Last up, as always, Sakurako has a kitchenware item. I believe this is a late, if I'm not mistaken. So I think they gave out a plate similar to this, but it was a different color. Craftsmanship on these are very good. This month's theme for Tokyo Tree is the Ninja Snack Venture. Adventure into Japan's most elusive and mysterious world of the ninjas. This month's Tokyo Treat Box is packed full of sneaky surprises and savory and sweet ninja-inspired treats. Explore the thrilling history and hidden flavors only found in this month's box. Some of these snack highlights include Kit Kat chocolate orange flavor, spicy ramen noodles, katana candy swords, strawberry dorayaki, and the gold nebuta fresh apple juice. This month's theme for Sakurako is flavors of Hakone. This month, Sakurako partners with the Kanagawa Prefectural Government for a limited edition, specially designed box inspired by the tranquil lake shores and therapeutic waters of Hakone. We invite you to discover 
Kanagawa's breathtaking natural beauty and indulge in authentic and local flavors that reflect the region's rich culinary heritage. Some of these snack highlights include matcha konjak wada bimochi, the white miso financier, Yokohama chocolate crunch, strawberry milk almonds, and many more. All of this, as always, pairs perfectly with the Hakone story Ryokucha green tea. And this month's tableware item is a marketry plate. Use code SLOWS to get $5 off for your first Sakurako box through the link down below in the description. And also to get $5 off for your first Tokyo treat box, also down in the link in the description below. All right, we got my boy, the, the time patroller, right? So uh, again, this is all kind of inspired mainly by that trailer okay that trailer where we have goku going from god to blue in the story that was the main inspiration for this video and that's hilarious because it's like that single little clip that we saw from that trailer has inspired like 15 different videos for me okay you already know it <laughs> so uh here it is the god to blue skill i know it's you know got some like question marks or whatever uh big shout out to pentium for actually creating this uh, i did showcase this before but uh it's still really cool because basically you can go super saiyan god okay and then after that you can transform into super saiyan blue it's such a simple concept right just being able to go back and forth and i did this just for y'all because y'all love the hair spiking if i'm gonna do mod showcases right I'm gonna give the hair spike, right? It's, it's just too fire. And check this out. I can do combos and go into Super Saiyan God and then go blue if I want to and combo. Is that not the coolest shit ever, dude? Look at that. I don't even know why I have the beast combo. Why is the beast combo in there? Uh, I don't know if that was supposed to happen or if he updated it. That was not there when this skill first came out, okay? And then I can switch between Super Saiyan uh, God and then go blue. And then be like, oh, I'm gonna go with God. Again, and then I'm gonna be doing, you know, like my 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 timed inputs and stuff. If it, I don't even know if it has the timed input thing. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Uh, again, it's modded, but you you get the idea. Okay, do you see the vision where I'm going Super Saiyan Blue into God? Okay, and if you want to, you can still go in the base, right? You can just swap between so much. Oh, I love that. Now the thing is, I don't know if. I can combo. Okay, so with God, you can't combo into it, at least on this mod. But I think it would be cool if you could, right? But yeah, y'all let me know that in the comments. This is not cool. This is not the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and I even have pose skills for y'all, okay? Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey! <laughs> what the hell? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's just for fun, all right? I give you some a little bit extra, a little bit extra stuff. Boom, and then go Super Saiyan Blue. Like, ah, oh, it's so nice, dude. Why am I getting so excited over something that should be in the game, but it's not? <laughs> and even not only for just Kak, but Goku and Vegeta, and just any character, new character with a new DBS form, right? Like, why do they not have the ability to transform into any of these new forms? Like, I know there's separate slots and everything, but with how outdated Goku and Vegeta are, like, this new super villain, Vegeta, he should have been a base form version of him, and it should have been able to transform into, like, God or Blue. I feel like that would have sold better. Like, same thing with Rose. It should have been a super villain or, like, a regular Goku Black in base, okay, that could transform into those, you know, ultra super villain Rose and stuff, right? Does that... Wouldn't that have sold better to you guys like i know people are excited like i'm personally very excited for this dlc and i'm gonna be playing the shit out of new characters and stuff but it's like i feel like it would have been a lot more enticing to see those transformations as actual awoken skills for those characters because we don't have that okay the whole point of these characters is to give us stuff that we've never seen we don't have in this game right so that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And uh, be sure to drop a like, subscribe here on the channel, ring my notification bell. I'll keep you guys updated whenever any DLC news drops. I got some more speculation coming unless the DLC drops, right? You have a great day. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly. And you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe or else I'll destroy your entire planet. <laughs>